Ready. Play. All right. Let's do everyone together. Okay. How did that feel? I mean, back to back wins now. I think it's the first time since Canada last year. Oh my God. Yeah, it's good. Um, obviously, you know, Thomas, you know, top top player. Um, you know, that was obviously a tough loss against the Maryland here in Australia. So I wanted to you know, just perform better than I did there. I was disappointed with that match, and um, you know, came through some difficult situations today, uh, particularly at the end of the match. Did did well. When I was behind in my service games at the end, and um, yeah, played some, some good stuff. Andy, what do you think you changed uh, tactically for that game in Australia against against Thomas? Um, I think a lot of it was psychological. It was very very flat in the match in Australia. And, um, you know, he's a guy who plays with a, a lot of energy, good intensity on the court, and okay. I had to try to match that. Um, Two times before when we played, it was you know very very close match. Both of us playing with a lot of energy, and you know today and yesterday was was similar. Very very close first set, not so many chances for either of us. Um, and in the second, we both had opportunities, but one or two points here and there made made the difference. And um, I served very well. Um, I say that was psychological side and. You know, definitely my serving was better today than, than in Australia. In your words, what was obviously the jubilation that you shared afterwards after that match? And Miami's been, you know, a special place for me during my career. It's like been my tennis home really. I've done so much of my work and training and preparation here. And yeah, love love the city. Um, yeah, it's just nice to get the chance to play another match like that um, in an atmosphere, um, in an atmosphere like that at the end. It was, you know, it's really nice and always when you're playing against the South American players, it's always, you know, an intense, intense atmosphere. But, you know, today I had a lot of support on my side as well. And, you know, they were very fair for both of us. And, yeah, it's just nice to get another opportunity to, to play a, a match here. Um, you know, this is going to be my last time playing in Miami, so um, yeah, I wanted wanted to play play well and have, have good memories. Andy, on, on a non-tennis non -tennis question, with uh, Kromnik uh, picking up two tourism awards. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, my well not just my wife but everyone who's involved in the hotel has done an unbelievable job with it um, you know for a long period of time but particularly you know recently there's some big changes uh, to, to the hotel uh, had you know a lot of work done on it and really changed you know how the, the hotel looked and how, how it was run and um, yeah very proud of the whole team there and particularly my, my wife has done you know, an amazing amazing job there. She spends quite a lot of time up there. Um, and yeah, she's she's done she's done really well and I'm really proud of the yeah the hotel. Um, you know it's obviously something right next to, to where where we grew up and um, yeah it's a place that the local community seems to enjoy and that was the purpose of owning it and investing in it and trying to create something nice for yeah, people that and in the time where I grew up and it's done, it's done well. That's you play Andy, in Andy, you have, uh, you had uh, my fellow Quebecer Louis Caillet on the court with you today. You guys go back a long way. Is there anything formal in that arrangement? Yeah, he's been helping me um, since the, the off-season. Um, but I've always done little bits and pieces with Louis like throughout my career, I think. Um, he's obviously done an amazing job with all the, the British, not just the British doubles players, but you know he's done did a great job in Canada um, as well. And you know he, I've spent more time over the years working on. If I'd had any sort of technical things I wanted to, to work on or ask him, I think he's one of the best in the world at, at that side of things. And. Um, yeah, since I had my injury, there's a few things that my body had kind of 
forced me to do and affected the technique and some of my shots and I was just try, trying to get a little bit of help with that to, to get them back to where I believe they, they could get to and you know my serving certainly has been a bit inconsistent this year but in the last few weeks you know the work that I've put in on that is, is starting to, to show and it's, you know makes a huge difference to my game and um, yeah Louis is a, a brilliant um, a brilliant coach, one, one of the best, that's for sure. Is he Thank here because of you, or, or is it just he happens to be here and you're just sort of taking oh, so, so he, he of it? He's employed by the LTA um, and mainly works with the you know the, the doubles players, so he comes to a few tournaments um, throughout the year uh, with them, but yeah, he's also, because he's been, been helping me, I think he's been doing little bits and pieces with, with, with Radicano as well. Um, that, yeah, when he's when he's here at the events, like yeah, we'll, we'll try to use him. I think he's coming to Madrid. You know, he's at the French Open. Um, he came to a couple of tournaments in France earlier in the year with me. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.